They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You're you're more than one together. You go ever and ever after <laughs> Look, it's Poppy O'Hare. Twin sister to Holly O'Hare and daughter of Rapunzel. And it's her first day at Ever After High. She doesn't have a legacy. Holly got the Rapunzel legacy because she's older by a hair. You always get to say the interesting part. Have you decided on your classes? I'm sorry, but no. On one hand, magicology sounds like a blast, literally. But hero training sounds excellent, too. Who wouldn't want to spar with a dragon? Well, Poppy, you must choose today. Classes start tomorrow. How'd it go with Baba Yaga? I kind of got thrown for a loop. She said I had to choose a destiny by the end of the day. Maybe it'll help if you ask everyone what they love about their sides of the story. Thanks, Holly. You're fabulous. Being a royal isn't easy. You have to work hard to keep your kingdom happy. But you do get to date princes and live in enchanting castles. Of course, you may have to eat a poison apple to get there. If you're a rebel, you don't have to be bad or dislike beanstalks or the people who climb them. Well, if you're a royal, you live every day to its fullest. <laughs> but isn't it more important to be who you want and not hide who you really are? Totally wicked point. Who did your highlights? Um, my mom, uh, gotta go. <laughs> so... Have you made your choice? Well, I've decided. I'm not gonna decide on a sign. <gasps> Wait a spell. You must choose something. After talking with everyone, it's clear. Being a rebel or a royal is totally exciting. So, I'm gonna flip the script and choose both sides. I like your style. I've been trying to decide my best side, and I choose both, too. <laughs> The blossoms at Bloom are headed for doom! Translation, there is definitely something wrong. Oh. <gasps> what happened to Wonderland Grove? It's usually so wonderish. This part of the enchanted forest is our link to Wonderland. And it's the source of all magical madness in our world! So if the Grove is losing its magical madness, are you saying our world will lose its magic too? Whatever after is all about magic. So what do we do? Madden up, people! We need to recharge the Grove by holding an Honest to Madness Wonderland Tea Party! Time to get our madness on! Fantastic! New outfits for everyone! Time to check my madness meter! <laughs> We better get our dance on! You guys, you have to dance Wonderland style! So close! We need some super silliness to put it over the top! Come on, Cerise, it's up to you! But I'm not so good at letting loose. Wait a spell. I've got an idea. Yes, is Raven? No way. Come on, Cerise. Trust me. <sighs> you put on fake silly wolf ears for the tea party? Now that is madness. Hey, look. We did it. Excuse me, but what is this? 
This? Why, it's the most hectacular marsh-only restaurant in the village. Well, you're draining your waste into my lake. Waste? Well, that's the price of doing business, little swan. Raven, something terrible has happened, and I need you to cast one of your evil Duchess, spells. you want me to help you after you made that unicorn poke us all in beast training and care class? Sparkles doesn't poke that hard. So, Dex, <laughs> I really need your help. After you two threw my glasses into a seeing double potion? Whatever after. That was funny. Duchess, the lake is in trouble. Oh, I'll get Hunter. Great, because at first I was like, why would I even ask Ashley? <laughs> Come here! That's the last acorn you'll ever throw! Recording! After the video of the unsanitary conditions within the Marsh Pit kitchen surfaced, bookend health officials discovered the Marsh King was illegally dumping his grease in the nearby enchanted lake. And who do we have to thank for all this? It was me. I saved the lake all by myself. Duchess Swan! Remember that name, people! Seriously? Seriously? Like you didn't see that coming. <laughs> you can't be serious. There are definitely more rebels at Ever After High than royals. Wanna bet? What about Apple White? She upholds royal tradition while always being the fairest of them all. Sure, but Rebel Raven Queen happens to be rewriting her destiny. Well, Briar Beauty is a royal through and through. Cerise Hood, total rebel. Blondie Locks, Ash Lanella. Cedarwood, Hunter Huntsman. Holly O'Hare. Ah, uh, Poppy O'Hare. <laughs> Kitty Cheshire. She's kind of hard to categorize. Kitty? Uh, well, she's obviously a rebel. Kitty Cheshire is a royal. You know what? Let's just watch Kitty, shall we? And we'll see that she's a rebel. Royal. That's Kitty playing on the royal croquet team. I'm right. Uh-uh, but mixing things up, that's pretty rebellious. <laughs> well, there she is having tea with Duchess Swan, who is a royal. In Madeline Hatter's very rebellious Wonderland tea shop. And look, only a rebel would cause this kind of trouble in class. Being mischievous is Kitty following her story, which all good royals do. Hey, Kitty. <laughs> Can I ask you something? See, the narrators have been watching you, and, and they want to know if I'm a royal or a rebel. She knew? Oh, no fair. Not cool. <laughs> I would tell them, but where's the fun in that? Chaos is keeping people guessing, and that makes this kitty purr. <laughs> Time for a cat nap. I'm confused. Are there more rebels or royals? Um, hey, there's Duchess Swan. Total royal. Oh, yeah? <laughs> well, what about Madeline Hatter herself? You can't get any more rebellious than that. Am I right, or am I right? I'm right. Love triangles at Ever After High can get... Oh. Awkward. Yes, awkward. Raven, your lap partner for this week's assignment is Sparrow. Uh. Sweet, you can do all the work while I rock and roll! Excellent. And Cupid, you are with Dexter. Yes! I mean, because uh, you're so smart, you know, Dexter. He's so smart. That's what they say. <laughs> I know what I have to do. Hey, Cupid. What's wicked? There's something really important I want to tell you uh, about Dexter. What in the kingdom? Oh, it's nothing bad. Briar, what happened? I tried dragon riding. <laughs> Good thing I was wearing my parachute. It's just I want to switch lab partners because <sighs> Dexter has a crush on you. Hey, Cupid. This won't take long. I just called Raven and told her that you... Oh, no! No, it's okay. She's really happy about it. That was a close one. You and Raven are gonna be great together. I know it in my heart. 
Hey, Cupid. Cupid. What? Sorry what about yesterday. To tell me? I'm so happy we worked everything out. Now you'd better get to work. <laughs> that potion isn't gonna brew itself. <laughs> Cupid, awesome. You can mix me up a love potion. Oh, love. And so it looks like this love triangle isn't ending anytime soon. I'm guessing not forever after. They told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. But now you're feeling like a different 